Hello, beta testers. Enemies spawning under the map. Uh, if you know specific places where that's happening, uh, Sayal, just send that to me, please, so we can look into it. At the request of a developer, I'd like to showcase the numerous bugs that I consistently experience that have persisted since launch eight months ago. Periodically, you'll see me pause the game to access the online marketplace or zoom into a video's information on the PlayStation 5 to indicate that this is in fact the current build of the game. In anticipation of inevitable scrutiny, I am including only recent clips to emphasize how prevalent these issues are. If just one Kyle on a brand new PlayStation 5 can personally encounter all of this, then maybe just maybe this isn't just affecting a minority. I've had issues on PlayStation 4, Dia has had issues on PS4 Pro, and I'm having issues on PS5. PC players are reporting visual glitches, and I'm sure you've heard of the audio bug, or maybe you haven't heard of it since all the audio cuts out, right? That's the kind of milk toast humor you guys flex on stream. Please forgive the nine months in my voice, but what I capture and compile and share takes time and effort that I gladly pay to represent people called negative when they report a bug. Innocent players who may be new, casual Marvel fans wondering why their game simply won't work, who then have to risk people calling them a parasite for posting their issues on your social channels? Please understand, developers, that the silence pertaining to these bugs perpetuates the belief among some people that everything is in fact fine and everybody's just complaining, they're whining, they're entitled babies. Insane when people have proof. I'm hoping, especially given what I'm sharing, that I've captured in just the past week that the developers acknowledge this in a direct way in the interest of good faith among the remaining player base. I encourage any viewer experiencing these issues to share and communicate them anywhere you feel may get developer or player attention, regardless of whom is lonely enough to argue with you about what could come in the next months. Enemies under the map may despawn if we run away or spawn correctly if we reload the checkpoint, but the huge bug most players have experienced since launch are enemies not spawning at all no matter how many reloads are forced, invalidating the time that players invest. Even self-identifying defenders were extremely vocal about these issues affecting the inexplicably solo Mega Hive, which you recently disabled for allowing access to skins. It was also resetting people's progress to the first portion of the gauntlet. It is recommended that you leave the mode disabled until multiplayer and stability can be achieved for the Mega Hive. It's not fun in its current state, it is not rewarding, and is therefore not worth playing. The mission that you've currently assigned to give away two exotics is actually preferable to most players anyway. And if you don't believe me, take a poll. While I've seen this happen on all hives, especially towards the final levels, it is so typical that players expect it. On the final level of the hive mission, ironically titled, Let the Game Begin. The video clips in the background highlight my multiple visits on different characters with a party observing this bug that I wasn't surprised to see thoroughly reported all over the Reddit. Something important to consider is that the average player isn't likely to jump online and report their issues. They're more likely to just quit. Some of the clips included I recorded today, May the 5th. Developer, I appreciate you acknowledging the question that most defenders probably would never ask. I stress that these are not small problems affecting a few, but you know that. Bugs as long-lasting as these, on top of bugged paid skins, inconsistencies on what is shown versus what is given, c congratulations recognizing the power of the MCU and inspiring happiness among fans who just want something that they know and love. Faithful representation of popular heroes will go a long way. Hmm. It is expected that you publicly address players having struggled with these game-breaking issues in excess of eight months and acknowledging and compensating them for the surprise beta testing that we all paid to do. 
Please excuse me, I, I seem to have edited in this image from Fortnite's daily rewards. Uh, what am I doing? The overwhelming majority of feedback that I've ingested aligns with the additions I concisely presented months ago. Before you consider a level cap increase or increasing the grind again, demonstrate your awareness of what the real community has demanded and echoed for over half a year. I personally would rather see double and triple the villains before you tweak the existing ones to stop one-shotting. Because it doesn't matter how different the phases and mechanics going into a Taskmaster and Abomination encounter at this point. I think the time to add that kind of stuff has long passed. My biggest suggestion for you moving forward is to put things that you're confused about to a vote. Listen to your players. Put the vote in the game so you can do it on an account by account basis. I hope what I've presented has been informative and in some way helpful so that we can get these things ironed out. Here's hoping Red Room Takeover goes off without a hitch. And I'll be there to see what's going on tomorrow. Won't you join me? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Enjoy these extras to end the video. Bye.